Take hey two. guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of a series in which I am trying a study that I found where they say cooling your palms can help you increase your work volume uh, generally, but they use the bench press. So I'm gonna see if that is actually true for me. So I'm kind of using the same procedures they used in the, in the study to see if I can increase my bench press by about 25%. So uh, if you haven't seen part one, go and check that out. Uh, it'll be somewhere right here about. Uh, but basically in that one, I did kind of like the control where I didn't do anything with heating or cooling my palms. And I just did my, uh, what the protocol was laid out in the study uh, without doing anything at first. So that is in part one. Today, I'm gonna to be doing the same thing but cooling my palms in an attempt to utilize that to increase my work volume. Because apparently you can get some pretty significant increases in work volume if you do that. So today we have the bench press set up, ready to go. We have a bucket of cool water that is at 10 degrees Celsius that I'm gonna be dipping my hands in in between the sets for about two and a half minutes at a time and that is supposed to uh, allow my body to cool down to allow more repetitions and more work volume to occur. So we're gonna test that out. But first we have to do a warm up, a series of warm ups that increase in weight up until my one rep max. And then after that, we get into the actual working sets that count toward the tested work volume. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the warm ups. Okay, so this is the first warm up set, 10 reps at 50% of my one rep max, so that is 125 on the bar, or 125 including the bar, going for 10 reps just to kind of get things moving, get my body used to the movement. set and then up until the one rep max so starting that here Not quite today. Almost. I almost had it. So we have three minutes to wait and then I can try it again. I have three attempts to hit one rep max. I don't know if I'm gonna hit 250 today. We're close, I can feel that. All right, so I couldn't get the first attempt at my one rep max. I dropped it by five pounds to 245, so we're gonna try to get it on this time. Okay, so even though I couldn't put up the one rep max, I know that my one rep max is uh, roughly 240 to 250. Um, I'm gonna move to the working sets that are 85% of my one rep max using the same weight that I used in the last trial. Uh, so even though technically my one rep max for today is slightly less than it was during that test, I'm still gonna use the same weight for the working sets because I don't wanna skew those results uh, uh, for the comparison of the two days. So for these working sets, it's, it's uh, as many reps as I can do to fatigue with 85% of my one rep max. And then in between sets, we have three minutes of rest, two and a half of which are gonna be spent
cooling my hands in this bucket of uh, 10 degrees Celsius water. So that's supposed to cool my internal body temperature, which is supposed to cool the working muscles and allow them to produce more work. That's the theory. We're gonna see if it pans out to be true. All right, first working set. Let's do it. Starting the timer for three minutes. And then once we hit 15 seconds, I'll be in the cooling. Ooh, that's chilly. Feels kind of good though. So we are at the correct temperature. <laughs> it's like when you go into like a, a really cold pool or a lake or something and you like after you're, you like dip your legs in for a little while and your legs start to like hurt a little bit that's kind of what it feels like on the hands to be honest do you feel ready for more work oh yeah always thanks okay, we're out. Dry the hands off real good. And we're into the next set. My hands are like numb almost. That's a lot colder water than I was expecting to be honest. Not looking the best so far for the study. I was able to get one more last time, but I guess the theme of today is that I guess my body's a little bit more tired and less capable than it was last time. So, I'm kind of sad that I didn't hit five there, but it seems about right with the theme of the day so far. <laughs> Hopefully we make it up on the, uh, the next two sets though. Be something to do this after all. <sighs> For what it's worth, when you started, you seemed fresher to me than the yeah. last time. Yeah. And to be honest, if I'm being completely honest, I think I cheated one of the reps there. I didn't go down as far as I think I should have. Yeah. But I'm still stoked with five. <laughs> I'll take it. on track <laughs> the final set you need to do 25 percent more that's right? right i'm optimistic i'm hopeful and optimistic i'll see <laughs> all right 
This is gonna be the final set, drying my hands right before the set, getting ready to hop under it. I'm excited, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about it, but I don't know. We're gonna see how much I can put up. I feel like something to it, whether it's practical to bring a bucket of almost ice water to the gym with you, that'll be up for you to decide. Um, I may play around with it a little bit more, but unfortunately with the low number of reps, it's hard to get a good reading of whether it worked or not. I'd like to almost try this again with like a bodyweight exercise, like dips or something like that to see almost if it helps with muscular endurance versus kind of like almost maximal strength at this point, so. But yeah, it seems like uh, I'll, I'll go back to my house, run the numbers, and kind of uh, make sure everything is nice and uh, correct for you guys, but I'll see you guys later. So, as it turns out, when I'm tired after doing a bench press, I can't count to four. So, <laughs> what I thought on the second set, I did three, I actually did four reps. So, it turns out I did in fact, do better on the second time with the Palmer cooling. Now, I only did one more rep, so it only equaled out to be about 6% improvement. But, 6% is 6%. That's not too bad at all. Specifically, and especially, because that's 6% better in working sets after I proved prior that I was weaker that day by not being able to do the same one rep max, or being able to do a lighter one rep max. So I was weaker on the second day, but I was still able to do 6% more work. So there might be something to this whole polymer cooling thing after all. Who would have thought? I would really enjoy to try this again by doing some a little bit less intense work. So instead of doing 85% of my one rep max, maybe drop it to like 65, 70, um, and then also try it doing like endurance, muscular endurance type work around like 50% of the one rep max. So do one uh, where maybe I'll do pull-ups and do the same type of protocol in, or I cool my hands in between sets and just see maybe I can keep banging out pull-ups. I would like to try that. Uh, leave a like and leave a comment if you would also like to see what the results of something like that would be. But anyway guys, I hope you thought that this was an interesting uh, video. I sure, <laughs> I sure found it fun to test and try myself. If you guys come across any other ridiculous sounding studies, I love to see them. So toss it in the comment below at me and uh, I'll take a look. But if you guys liked, leave a like and uh, hit the subscribe button if you find yourself coming back. But either way, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.